Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Thought I would do a market review. I have not done a market review in a little while, and I think it's important to do it here now today because uh, the market has been a hard uh, for a lot of people to trade, I'd say, the last month, month and a half. I've been reading it very well uh, simply because I know how to read gaps well, so I've been reading it very bullishly. Now, the day that we fell down last week on Thursday, even I was a little surprised how deep we came in, but then when I saw where we were at then the morning of the 8th, I realized that we were going to hold, and that's exactly what we did, and I wasn't really that surprised because the market is bullish. The market is in an uptrend, and I know a lot of people thought we're going to fall off the planet here. It would have been fine by me because I love to short, but the market just wasn't going to have it. The interesting thing was I expected the market on this following day here was Friday to actually gap down, but we didn't. When we didn't gap down, and then also I didn't find a lot of gaps I was in love with Friday, I knew that the market was going to hold. So it was like a lot of things going on. One, it was raiding all my gaps and I didn't like anything Friday. And then two, the market wasn't gapping down, which I felt that it really should have based on this sell-off on Thursday. And also the area. Do you see this bullish gap back from here? Uh, the low is 81.35. And where we closed here on Thursday was 81.37. That is utter perfection in the market. This gap here is holding. And what is this gap? This is a bullish continuation gap in the market. And clearly it's holding. Because you know what? If the market would have come in all the way down into here, it could have. And that would have still been fine too. Uh, we still would have been in a bullish uptrend. It would have been a deeper pull-in. But the market didn't do it and isn't doing it and isn't going to do it. And I even thought today we'd possibly, actually I thought even Monday, Monday or Tuesday I thought we'd possibly lift higher already, start to make the move up. We are we rested here Monday. It was a holiday, uh, even though the market was open. And then we traded very green today. The interesting thing is the way that we traded today was very sloppy uh, because we rallied up first faked like we were going lower at 10 o'clock but didn't do it, which I didn't believe because the fact is I knew we were bullish. Ran up, broke out a new high here. This is a 10.15. Came in and triggered on a sell setup again here, but there's no reason to think this is going to hold. Why? Again, the market's bullish. I had made a new high here and didn't fall through in this sell setup, which it should have if it was going to come in one more area on the daily, but it didn't do it. Came in here and this is just sloppy because you see how this made this pivot here. But again, retested an area. Retested an area of what? An area of support. This is support on the 15-minute chart. This area here around 8220-ish. Came down here and retested it. And here was actually a good buy in the market here at 1.30 in the afternoon. 1.30 into 1.45 reversal time into the 2 o'clock. You could have bought the market. Stop here under 82.20 for follow-through. We didn't really go much of anywhere today. But I think tomorrow uh, the market's going to trade higher and be bullish. Uh, this is a nice hold in here for the cues. Nice scoop here up to the upwards direction. Nice hold here in the 15 minute. I'm saying it's been very choppy for people because it's been hard for people to get any volatility and momentum just looking for strategies that are looking for the market or any trades that you need the market. I trade gaps, so I'm lucky that I know how to do that because if I didn't, if I needed a strategy that I needed the market to get the directional bias uh, correct for my trade, it would be a very choppy last month. Um, and, and last week was actually a really, really good week. So we'll see what this week brings, but the market is bullish. There's no doubt about it. We're going to follow through and actually trade higher into the close of the end of the calendar year this year in 2013. I don't see anything stopping that now. And if the market wanted to come in in here in the last few days and follow through with this rev arc, it could have done it. It didn't. And not only that, it held this bullish gap back here that was from the 18th in absolute utter perfection. So again, I love to read numbers. This is how I trade. I read price action when I make determinations and I read gaps. Specifically, the gaps help me determine what to do with a stock chart. That's how I know what direction to trade something. And the QQQs are holding beautifully in the bullish uptrend and when they do break out over this area. I don't know when this is going to happen, but I, I think it's going to happen in the next uh, five to seven days. When the market trades over this area here of 83.40, 83.50, uh, it's going to have a big, big rally. And so I think this happens in the next week. It could even happen this week because we're getting really close to it. We're only a dollar away, and that's really nothing to the market. A lot of people think this looks toppy. It will be broken. Broken to the upward direction, higher. Uh, it, you don't short tops as a trade. It's just a poor way to trade. 
Uh, you trade with directional bias. You trade and read the gaps. You follow through and trade in the direction of the gaps, and that's the right way to trade and enter trades. And uh, here it is. Look at this chart. This is all, so let's actually look at the whole year. Here's the year. Now you see it. Everybody says, oh, we're extended. We're not extended. This has been a nice, Consecutive move, gap up, consecutive move, gap up, consecutive move, gap up. Pull in here, gap up, gap up. Beautiful follow through here ever since really this was July. Incredible, beautiful moves. Rest higher, come in, higher, come in, higher, come in, higher, 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 come in. And this isn't even really a big pull-in, so that's why I was saying we could come all the way down here to 80 and still hold, but that's not going to happen now. We're setting up to break out higher. Into the into the end of the calendar year, 2013, almost almost over. It's hard to believe. Uh, so this is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. This is a QQQ market update uh, for November 12th. Uh, earnings this month, and I hope everyone has a terrific trading week. If you need anything or if you're interested in the next Golden Gap class, it will be December 14th and 15th. That will be the last Golden Gap class of December of 2013. I'm doing one more class this year, December 14th and 15th. If you were interested, I would suggest to pre-register uh, since it's going to be the last class of the year. My email is melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.